morning everyone welcome to a new florida vlog something a little bit different for you today as well uh, we're up and about it's currently 20 past nine so we've had a little bit of a lie-in so to speak and uh, we're heading to typhoon lagoon this morning we're going to try one of the disney water parks something we've never done on the channel i've not done it since i was a tiny little kid so it's basically a brand new park for us that we've never ever done a lot of you have always recommended doing water parks trying them out so today we're going to give them a go we're going to take the gopro along we're going to film a little morning in the typhoon lagoon i'm excited i've never been to typhoon lagoon so i'm really excited to see what's going on with it we've never really been super attracted with the water parks because in tenerife we've got cyan park which is the best water park in the world as voted on TripAdvisor, etc it's an amazing water park so when we come here we're like oh we'll do the theme parks because we don't have theme parks in Tenerife, we've got a water park. Yeah. But we're going to give it a go, we're going to see what we think, mix it up a little bit. Yeah, never know, I might love it. Yeah, and then we'll see what happens this afternoon. But yeah, we're going to give that a little go this morning. We're going to grab a coffee on the way just now. Yeah. And then we'll get ourselves into uh, Typhoon Lagoon. It's included in our passes, so we'll uh, give it a go. So we've decided we're going to sit in Starbucks, have a nice little coffee, sit in, relax for a bit before we head off. I will, however, check my phone to make sure the weather's going to stay semi-okay because it's going to start raining. I don't think it's going to be worth going. Yeah, we just that's why we decided to come in because I don't think there's any huge rush because the weather's a bit overcast today. I don't think loads of people are going to be heading to Typhoon yeah. Lagoon. But we'll have a little we'll sit and have a coffee, check a few things out. Yeah. Um, it's certainly warm enough to go. Oh, yeah, definitely. But if it's going to start raining and thundering and things, we'll sort of reassess the plan. But I don't think... we. I think Typhoon Lagoon anyway... You don't have to be there the minute it opens, I don't think. It doesn't open until 10 o'clock, so plenty of time. We'll see, what, see how we get on. Uh, but yeah, the weather this morning, a little bit overcast, looks a little bit stormy out there. It doesn't bother us at all. It's a bit of a change for us. We have the sunshine all the time, don't we, in Tenerife? But yeah, I just want to check in terms of operations and things. If it's uh, definitely a, uh, a go for Typhoon Lagoon. We haven't been in this Starbucks for a little while. I've missed it. I do like this one. I like it's like brings back some memories this Starbucks doesn't it yeah. normally sit over there in those little comfy seats yeah it's a bit of a different vibe in this one isn't it it's more like set up for like business meetings almost with the big tables and stuff yeah well we are caffeinated my glasses have all steamed up when you come out of the uh, the air con and into the warm and the humidity it's strange weather um, it's brightened up a bit but now it's started to sort of sprinkle with rain what are we thinking, Laura? What do you reckon we should do? I don't think it's a water park. Don't think it's a water park no. day? No. Right. Um, do you think maybe a theme park instead would do the water? We've got plenty of time to do the water park, so it's not pivotal that we do it today. I think it would be nice and quiet. I think you'd get round quite a lot of it quite quick, but then water rides, you want to be in the sun, don't you? Yeah. So I don't know. Uh, let's have a think, see what we want to do. We've got to be careful with the I mean, either way, you're gonna get a little bit wet whatever we do so i just think with the water park maybe you're probably right you come off the ride a bit wet you want to have a bit of sunshine on your back yeah. but let me know in the comments too, would you go to a water park today in this weather and smash out the ride to be lovely and quiet in there a bit in this oh, weather yeah, or you're like us nah i want the sunshine sun on my back and you know looks lovely in the sun doesn't yeah. it the blue sky uh right we'll have to reassess then dun 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 this is what you constantly got to do. Remember, you can write out as many schedules as you want, as many calendars as you want, but you've got to have a plan B and a bit of a backup, and you've got to be prepared to sacrifice what you've got on that planner to change things around. So yeah. don't be afraid, you know, say you booked in a water park today, it's cloudy, it's naff, and tomorrow you were going to do a park. Don't be afraid to switch them around. I know a lot of people do the calendars and they're a great idea, but bear in mind, the weather might not always play ball for when you want to go and do your water park day, etc. Or stick to your guns and do it, but you're not going to get that sun on your back on the likes of today. So you're thinking of Disney Park? Did Universal yesterday, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, we'll just go to Disney Park and take a little wander. Take a little wander in a Disney Park. I mean, that's easier said than done. Yeah, it is. You know, wandering into a Disney Park at the exact time we recommend not going in. Yeah. At like peak time, half ten. But there you go. You have to change your plans, yeah. so... Uh, let's see how we get on then we'll see what we decide you'll get to find out in a couple of seconds so what we're going to do is we're going to park at boardwalk have a wander around boardwalk because you know we love boardwalk we're then going to take the skyliner 
across the Riviera. Yeah, we'll have a little mooch at Riviera, um, then we can even get the Skyliner then onto Hollywood Studios if we want. We've just, it's, it is tough. I know a lot of you at home will be like, oh, just pick one and go. It's tough deciding what you want to do because we don't want to go to Universal now because we did that yesterday. Yeah. We don't want to drive all that way now, mid-morning. But tomorrow we've got a big vlog planned. It's a big one. We're yeah. going to try and do the four park challenge tomorrow. Yes. Which is all four Disney parks in one day. You've got to go into each one, do a couple of rides in each. We're going to do a ride in each and a snack in each. Yeah, so that's a big day tomorrow. So we don't want to go nuts in Disney parks today because we're doing a big day in there tomorrow. Yeah. So on a day like today, a bit overcast. Nice to go around the resorts. You're allowed to do it. Uh, you don't have to be staying in them. Uh, obviously, you've got to be respectful and things, but you can go around them. You can buy a drink. You can buy bits of food. You can jump on the Skyliner, which is free. So we're gonna have a little hop around, might pop into Hollywood Studios maybe. Um, check out some of the other resorts. Yeah. You've got Yacht and Beach Club, Swan and Dolphin. There's loads you can do. And um, I've even seen a few people do like a little bit of a drinking around the yeah. uh, resorts. You can do a bit of resort hopping, have a drink in a couple of them. You can end up on the monorail uh, system that goes around near the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. You can get off a contemporary, all of those. We might have a bit of lunch. There's lots to, to be done, isn't there? Just yeah, by just doing see what that, happens. Yeah. Have a little wander around the resort, see what ones look nice that you might want to stay in in the future. Yeah, because you all and... liked to see the um, Animal Kingdom last time. Not the Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom Lodge, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Animal Kingdom Lodge. You all seemed to enjoy that last time, so. That was yeah. nice to see. It's just nice to see them, and some of you might be booked in to stay in them and things like that. Yeah. But yeah, you don't have to be staying in any of these Disney resorts to visit them. You can be staying down here on the 192, but still pop in and get a bit of a yeah. Disney Magic just Resort feel. Just as long feel. as you all respect, all respect the, yeah. the staff, respect the guests, respect private areas and room areas like exactly, that. Exactly, yeah. as long as you don't act stupid or anything, they're, they're quite happy for you to pop down and... Spend your money. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> well, we're booked in for a resort breakfast on Friday in a couple of days' time. Yeah. We've got a new resort breakfast that we've never done before. Different resort. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. You can always make the little reservations and pop in. Yeah. So we're going to park at the boardwalk. You're allowed to park at the boardwalk for free for, I think, three or four hours you're not on a super strict time limit. I mean, if you came back at like three and a half hours later, they're not gonna go mad at yeah. you. It doesn't work like that, really. Uh, they allow you to park there. You can mooch around the shops. They know you're gonna spend money, buy breakfast, bits and bobs. Yeah. So you are allowed to park at the resorts for, it's normally three, three or so hours. It depends sometimes. Yeah. We've had one guy said you've got five hours at one point. And then some resorts, wrong, yeah, some resorts, you will not let you park in them. No, some of them, I think they're that busy and the the parking's quite restrictive. They're very strict on you. If you don't have a reservation for like a dining reservation in there, they won't let you park. park. But the boardwalk, normally pretty flexible because they know people like us. We've gone down and parked there and done the boat ride. We've rented the boats. Yeah. We've been in all the shops. We love the Wyland shop. You've bought jewellery yeah. there before. So there's a bit more going on at Boardwalk where you can park and actually have a wander, go shopping and things. So. Yeah. And we do love the shopping there, don't we? Yes, yeah. it is nice. We we'll generally buy stuff from there, don't we? I do like it. It's good, yeah. good uh, merchandise store there. And then from there, you can walk either into Epcot for a little bit or you can jump on the Skyliner, which is what we're going to do. And we'll go across to some of the other resorts. So, yeah, that's the plan. And uh, hopefully that helps some of you out. If you're interested in visiting the resorts, you can do it. And yeah. you can park for free for a few hours. Just tell them what, obviously what you're doing. You're going to park and you're going to have a look in some of the shops, maybe rent a boat, something like that. And uh, they will allow you to park. They tell you where to park. You do need to have, though, your ID. They will not let you park if you don't oh, have yeah. your driving license or a form of ID with you. So make sure you have that with you. Yeah. Or... If you, I mean, we could, technically, we could park in Hollywood Studios and then jump on the Skyliner to the resorts. Yeah. If you parked it in the park for a day, you can either jump on the monorail and do it, you can jump on the Skyliner and do it, jump on the bus and do it. Again, if you don't want to pay to park, but you're worried about the time limits of parking at the resorts and things, you can even park at Disney Springs for free and jump on the free Disney transport yeah. buses. That's another way you can save on the parking fees as well if, if you're on a tight budget you don't want to be paying 25 27 dollars a day to park yeah you can park disney springs for free 
jump on the Disney transport buses that need to go to all of the parks uh, completely free. Obviously, it's just going to add a bit more time onto your day though. Yeah. You okay there with your big umbrella? Well, since we're not doing any rides, I've, those ponchos do drive me a bit nuts, so I'm going to go umbrella wise. Jerry did give me a nice umbrella yesterday, so. Yeah. Why not? Look at yeah, they are big umbrellas, aren't they? Ready for a resort tour, me. I've got my Disney top on, I've got the Skyliner above us. Doing Let well. Let me take you on a guided tour of the boardwalk. Ooh, sounds all very posh. Man, you lead the way. Like to step forward. <laughs> all the way forward. There all we the way. go. <laughs> all available spaces. <laughs> this is not a single file line. <laughs> That's forward. literally what they sound like, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we do love the boardwalk resort so this is like a disney hotel but they do also have disney vacation club in here as well and it is like traditional boardwalk theme in here it's uh, once we go through to the other side you'll see exactly what we mean if you've not been here before it's a lovely resort to take a wander around they've got a lovely boardwalk area that comes to life at night a lot of stuff going on in the evening time uh, like illusionists and dancers oh, and stuff yeah, come out awesome. and so yeah you can rent little like uh, bike carts and uh, you can rent a boat on the lake stuff like that we've got a piano bar. yeah we've got to try and do that this we trip as do. well yeah, we've been saying the last couple of trips, i know we? we need to remember to do it now our oh, list is growing yeah we've got some bars to go to on, on um, i drive yeah. Yeah, so that's the name of the all time. The list is definitely growing. Tonight's agenda is uh, trying to go to Horror Nights because it's Wednesday, midweek. Hopefully, going to be a little bit quieter. We might try and get some fast passes as well. Yes. So that's on tonight's agenda. Be out. And then tomorrow is our big oh. four park extravaganza. Our big four park challenge. And then Friday, we've got a nice resort breakfast. Yeah. A bit more of a chilled day. So maybe Friday we'll do. One of those nice bars on i drive or yeah, that'd be nice in the evening yeah, something oh nice yeah breakfast go into one of the parks just have a little wander around yeah and then we'll go into i drive or we go to the breakfast go to um, universal and then go to yeah we'll I see drive. how we get on yeah. got a good little bit of a plan forming so we're going to go down here and this leads us out to the boardwalk Okay, so just here is where you can uh, start your magical day. You can jump on one of these boats coming across the lake. They will take you around either to Hollywood Studios or you can go around to Epcot as well. You can also walk to Epcot if you just follow the pathway around. And then we've also got like Boardwalk Deli. You can have breakfast in here. Uh, we ate last time uh, in this Italian that Laura likes, Trattoria. I wasn't a huge fan of my pizza, but Laura does like the gluten-free in there. And then just here is the big uh, boardwalk shop. That's where you've got all the uh, merchandise and stuff. It is more lively of an evening time, but it's still nice to take a wander around. And then just over there is where you can rent the boats. You can rent a boat for an hour or so, go around the lake, go around the lake towards uh, Holly, um, Hollywood Studios. Yeah. Yeah, so take a little walk in that shop. There's still nowhere near on that. Uh, oh, yeah push back the opening oh, i was gonna say i can yeah. see why it's miles away the push back to open by quite a bit right yeah. wonder why it's miles away that is yeah, yeah they're the little boats you can jump on that'll uh, be taking you around to hollywood studios i imagine so you can jump on the boat round to there from here let's have a look in a couple of these shops and then we'll uh, probably jump on the skyliner i think so there's definitely a few things already that we haven't seen in any of the other shops i've not seen any of these at all the castle figurines laura says she's not seen that spirit jersey anywhere there's a couple of little things already that we're seeing here that we haven't seen elsewhere so it's always worth checking them all if you're into all your merch any different mugs a couple of vacation club ones nice boardwalk one there as well some ears here there as well that we've not seen before these look nice i've seen, oh, yeah, seen them before laura they're nice aren't yeah. they you probably would have got them if you'd have seen them. They're really nice. They are nice with the little uh, candy corn on. Really good. I do like a lot of the um, Vacation Club merch. It's lovely as well, isn't it? I know. That's a lovely bag. I like that as a beach bag. So they have a lot of Disney Vacation Club stuff. I like the D Disney Vacation Lounge fly. I've always liked that, haven't I? Yeah. 
You can get your nice uh, Disney boardwalk, like towel gown. That feels so soft, that Laura. Feels amazing, doesn't it? $100. You're still obsessing over this book. And the pen, is the pen necessary yes, as well? Yes, because look how cute it looks. And what are you going to do with it? I want to do the beauty one, but that's quite big. And the reason I've not got it yet is because it's quite big. And what are you going to do with that? It's going to be for when I'm writing down bar orders and stuff for bar orders. Keep on the And a gold cute. Beauty and the Beast book. Yeah, how nice is that? So someone spills a beer all yeah, over. Yeah, no, it. I have been wanting for years since I've seen that. I think it was before. COVID. How much is that? I don't even want to know. know. It's I meant to be like a display book, isn't it? Twenty six dollars. It's not. It's not horrendous. It's not great, but and how much is the pen? I don't know. The pen, pens are ten. Geez, can, so the the book you can get two pens for the price of the whole book. No. Books not. The pens are cheap, is it? Then I can get a Disney princess. No, no, they're a bit, bit tacky yeah. then. A bit tacky. A little phone holder, is that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is for the kids, that's good for the kids, isn't it? But yeah, you can get plenty of like stationery, that's cute, I mean, that's adorable, that is, isn't it? Yeah. So you're going to get that now, or do you want to get it when, no. on the way back? Yeah, I'll get it now. You're happy walking with it, yeah? Yeah. Alright. You're right as well. Okay. So some other new arrivals that we've not seen. Here's more ears that we didn't see in the parks the other day. Didn't see them before either, Laura, did we? The fluffy ones, they're good, aren't they? So you've got your uh, your book and your pen. You've got your annual pass discount. So I've got $2 off. Okay, so it was how much? 31, was it? You got more than that off. I've got 740 off. Yeah, wow, that's $5.40 off the book and $2 off the pen. Money. There you go. So it was thirty-one dollars in total, wasn't it? Yeah. Now you've wanted it for a while, so yeah. we'll, we'll let you off. <laughs> yeah. So moving on from Boardwalk Resort, which has got about three hundred and seventy odd rooms, uh, all based on you know Coney Island, different famous Boardwalk-inspired places, and uh, moving on from there, you have then got uh, Yacht and Beach, I believe it is Yacht and Beach Club over there. I do like the buildings. The buildings are gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they really, they really themed them really well, haven't they? Just lovely to look at, really, like traditional, but yeah. This is still one of the resorts that's on our list to stay at. Definitely. Definitely want to stay on this resort. Yeah. Quite expensive, isn't it? Yeah, they're all a little bit uh, pricey these days. These days now, the. Uh, nearly said these nuts. <laughs> nearly said that then. I've still. <laughs> I've struggled to get my words out sometimes. But yeah, they're all a little bit pricey now, the Disney Resort, especially these really nice ones. Yeah. So I'm wandering over to the Skyliner now. I've got to say it's a lot more humid today, isn't it? Yes, very humid. Yeah. But then again, coming out, it's a bit of rain, so the humidity, isn't it? Yeah, that little, little bit of moisture in the air does ramp up the humidity, yeah. but still not as hot as it was last year. Do you remember, we were just melting last, last year, every year, single we were, day. We, we were, were just... We were just every single day, we were like, oh my God, can't yeah. even. And then it was really really bad sums in the afternoon not the evening the afternoon so we just like you'd have to get up in the morning morning. smash it in the morning it'd be boiling hot then you'd come home then it'd be storm in the afternoon it was a yeah last september if you remember it as well when we came on our own in september i remember that it was just relentless i mean even i struggled yeah it was uh was pretty hot last year and pretty stormy it's not been too bad this this trip i don't mind it overcast like this oh no neither do i we get a lot of sun in Tenerife, luckily, where we live. So the sun, a break for the sun is, is welcome for us. It is. Sounds a bit spoiled that, but when you live in the sun all day long, we've had a very hot summer in the Canaries as well. Uh, the hottest on record. So for us, this nice. is a nice welcome break. I know a lot of you would probably be a little bit disappointed if you woke up and it was like this, but this is Florida is how it is. Some days you wake up. This, by the way, still stinks of vomit. I can't smell it. I could across smell it from across the bridge. And I can smell it now. No, oh, it's grim. Oh, no. no yeah. I can't. Smell it now? Yeah. <laughs> Sweaty, mouldy, blue oh. cheese vomit, is that? Yeah, it's not my smell. Oh, they're rank. <laughs> That's not a Disney smell. No. <laughs> oh, can you get that in a candle? Oh, should make a candle of it. You'll be wondering what the smell's like. I'll make a candle, I'll bring it out. 
<laughs> Disney's vomit tree. <laughs> Smells just like walking into Epcot. Now, so many of you ask us about our annual passes. I get messages every few days. Where did you buy them? How much did you pay? Uh, I've tried to get them and I can't find them, etc., etc. We got our annual passes. It was a complete sort of impromptu decision. We came yeah. down to here. We didn't have park tickets. We were just wandering around the resort. And uh, we came over to here just to inquire about them. Just We just thought, oh, let's ask, you know, well, let's see. We have been looking online. The ages on it, just never find. Even the um, the blood residence had no passes, I could just never find had no passes. So we thought we'd just come and ask and see if they knew when you were going to be back on sale or whatever. And they said they're on sale now. Yeah, it was just a little question. We were just having a little wonder and we we're going to ride the Skyline. And we went to this guest relations just here outside Epcot. And uh, we asked, and they were like, Yeah, you can buy them. This is the price. We don't like going into to prices and things of what we pay for stuff. It's just not our thing. Um, I believe it was around. Uh, we did upgrade the tickets that we... Oh, no, we didn't have any tickets at all. So it was a straight purchase. You could upgrade your tickets. Uh, if you had like a 14-day pass, you could pay the difference. But we didn't have a 14-day pass. So it was a good chunk at the time. I think you're looking... It was around, uh, I think, $1,000 each. More than that. So, I mean, it was it was a big investment at the time. We had to sit and think about it, uh, you know, work out some finances, but... We did, we, we got the prices, he gave us the prices, and we went and sat down. Yeah. And we went and, and said, right, let's see if we can meet for the X, Y, and Z times. How much would it be if we didn't have the passes? We did. We priced down. everything, yeah. We worked we out if like we came... Five minutes. Yeah organize and check it and if we came it, like we worked out the price if we came three times and bought 14 day passes each time what it would cost then bear in mind if you don't come for an exact 14 days if you came for longer then you've got days where you can't come into disney yeah. and you're restricted then we looked at the discount on the merchandise we worked parking. out parking for our 14 day trips if you came you know 10 times out of the 14 days and parked at disney 27 dollars a yeah, slot exactly. so it was a big investment at the time uh, but it was a special feeling getting them and then working out. The, the man was quite helpful as well. He was not pushy at all. He was like, you know, if you're going to come twice, I don't think you should get them. If you're going to come three times, you probably should. If you yeah. buy a lot of merchandise, you're going to save money that way. You know, he's asking, have you got a car? Do you pay to park? So they were not very salesy. It was He was actually very straight yeah. up about it. At one point, he was like, I don't think it's going to be worth it for you. And then we went and deliberated our, ourselves. And it turns out it was worth it for us. We're, we're glad we did it. Yeah, but yeah, definitely. this is where we got them from. This guest relations here. I know some of you have been and asked in other guest relations and they've said no. The only way you're going to get them if you're a non-resident is you have to buy the top, top, top tier annual pass, yeah. which includes all of the parks and everything. You can't get the cheaper ones, which have lockout dates and stuff. Yeah. You've got to buy the top premium annual pass as a non-resident. No, it is a lot of money in one go is a big outlay in one go i understand that especially like if it's you've got kids and like you need one park and the one free park and it's a lot of money to lay out but if you're going to come twice or three times i would save up and buy it yeah two or three times you could put it on a credit card maybe pay it off that way but you will yeah. save if you're going to come definitely if you come in three times and you pay to park and you like to dabble in a bit of merchandise you're going to save little bits of money oh, at a time it, then it is worth it but yeah this is where we got it from the main question is where did you buy them this guest relations right here at epcot i don't know about other guest relations whether there's only certain ones that can sell them i don't know but it was this guest relations just here you don't have to go into the park you can go to it just there then windows and uh, inquire there but for now we're going to go and jump on the skyliner then let's go and uh, do a bit of adventuring somewhere yeah let's see where it takes us see where we fancy yeah. i do like these are good little ride themselves you can always just come on and have a little ride of them good fun you feel like maybe if you've been skiing before similar to those sort of yeah. ski lifts and stuff supervised children and refrain from smoking in the cabins thank you thank you thank you hey here we go we've got a nice clear one as well which is good for filming you can see me there hi guys nice yeah windows are slightly open you can open the windows there these are not air conditioned but they do stay cool once you get going you get a bit of a breeze there you go <laughs> nice one 
nice staff member there as well. Had a bit of fun. Right, we're off. Don't know where to, but we're off. I know, yeah. We'll see where it takes us. I mean, you don't even have to go in the park, so you can just have a little bit of fun. Hey, well, this, hey. is, this is great <laughs> if you've got a two-week pass, but you stay longer than two weeks, and you want your Disney fix. Yeah, if you, if you, and, or if you're tired of the parks, but you just want to have Welcome a little. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Epcot International Gateway. We're flying to Disney's Riviera Resort with a final stop at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Caribbean Beach, oh, never yeah. been there. No, that's a big resort. We Caribbean hope you enjoyed Beach. your visit to Epcot and the World Showcase. Did you learn how to say hello in a different language today? Hola. Bonjour. <laughs> Ciao. You do get little announcements as you go along. It's lovely and cool now with the breeze coming. It's, it's dead really relaxing, breeze. isn't it? Yeah, I love it. Just looking out across, the other ones going past you. You can see Tower of Terror there in the distance, that hotel Ooh. that Laura always checks us into. Yeah, find past Disney Boardwalk Inn and Disney Boardwalk Villas. This charming lakeside resort offers magical lounges, enchanting restaurants, and live entertainment on the boardwalk every evening. There you go, as I mentioned, evening entertainment on the boardwalk. It's a nice little atmosphere, very family-friendly as well. Yeah, the atmosphere in there. Oh, shall I get me a little book out so I can things you want to do? See? Oh, well, oh, no. See? Jeez, the I books. Do it. You, 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 got a, you know, you got a note section in your phone for that. I I, I'm, I'm old school. I'm pen and paper, and a lot of people will, will agree with me that pen and paper, a lot of, like your dad likes a newspaper. Yeah. Your mum likes a book. Yeah, you've got to actually have the pages, not Kindles. Yeah, you'll say it as a Kindle, your mum and me yeah. books. So, if you can write this down in your book. Yes. It's a cardinal sin, yes. yeah, to wear merchandise from an, a different park we are now in the, sky the park you're going to or the well, area the you're going to. Was just for Other it was just an easy swap to throw out in the <laughs> You're wearing a universal <laughs> themed <laughs> night stride, a piece of merchandise yeah. at a Disney resort. I was planning, we were going to be wearing it, which way we were going to water park. No, yeah, to be fair. It's an easy top to throw one and off over the key. Yeah. I'm only, it's not really a sin, but it is quite funny. You see all the TikToks and stuff like people who wear a Mickey Mouse top to Universal or wear a Universal top to Disney. It's just funny. It's like a little bit of a thing with it. It's funny. You see it all the time though, don't yeah. you? A lot of people come from like Disney parks or Universal Park and stuff. I just find it funny. I like binding you up. Universal top or a Disney Skyliner. You've got Disney tops as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm the one repping it, do you know what I mean? I know. <laughs> now, one thing to bear in mind if you've not got the flexibility all day like me and Laura have here today is um, the Skyliner does go down if there's any lightning or storms in the area. So, there is a small possibility with the way the sky is today. We hope you are that we get stuck where we are. If this goes down, we'd have to get the bus. Yes, yeah, so hopefully not, but something to bear in mind, these do go off in the storm. So if the lightning moves in in this area today, we might not be able to ride this back and we'll be getting a bus or an Uber or a Lyft or something back to the car. Disney's Pop Century Resort or Disney's Art of Animation Resort, please remain on board. So we're we gonna get off here at Riviera, or yes. do you want to carry on and then get off at Riviera second? No, we're gonna put Riviera first. Right, let's do Riviera first then. Please remain seated until the doors are open. Hey. When entering the cabin, <laughs> please remain seated. Gives you a little shake. Children, collect your belongings and watch your step. Thank you for flying with us. Please remain seated. It's a lovely relaxing ride, though. It really is. Hey, <laughs> whoa, hey. <laughs> Hey, I didn't know they'd put you on the back of a... When did they, get, when did they do that? Sure, that's you. I hope they're paying you good, good rights for that. Didn't know they'd given you that. At least they took it after you've had a coffee. <laughs> so I just said to Laura, these colours are very much like what we've gone for in the bar. The darker colour on the... Uh, are they close? They look close. Colour, very close, the lighter colour, ours is a bit more blue. Ours is a bit more blue than that, but yeah, very close to what sort of colours we've gone for in the bar in Tenerife. Well, this would be good little fun for a little walk around. Never ever been in here before. 
This is one of the newest resorts they built, the Riviera. And it does look very nice. Got a nice rooftop area, you can have breakfast up there as well. I think there's a character breakfast in here. Yeah, we can never get into it. Yeah, very tough to get a reservation. Come on in. Very tough to get a reservation. Let's take a little wander around, see if this is a result that we'd stay in in the future. Ooh, you never know. Okay. When we win the lottery. <laughs> I know. So if someone can let us know, are these fountains supposed to leak? Everywhere, so must be think it's down to the rain yesterday, or yeah, well, they've got the drain here. Yeah? Strange one, Hello. gorgeous. I love all the mosaic all over the walls oh, as you come yeah. in. This Big Ben, there, yeah. I don't think these are supposed to be overflowing, are they? Or maybe they are, maybe that's the theme, but I don't think so. There'd be a bit of a slip hazard, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, a bit of a strange one there. Fountain's a bit too overfull, yeah, definitely not supposed to do that, is it? Definitely not, right? I've got no idea where we're going. That's all part of the fun. Well, the first thing you notice is just a lovely, relaxing atmosphere. Lovely soft music in the background. The birds, the sound of the fountain. Got the pool area here, looks lovely. I love the padded sunbeds with the little drink stand as well. Gorgeous pool area, and then it looks through onto the lake behind it. Beautiful, lovely, isn't it? Peaceful. Yeah, I've just said that. Such a lovely, relaxing atmosphere. Oh. The pads on the sunbeds and the chairs you can sit around and have a drink. And I mean, it would look even nice if we had blue sky in the background, but how peaceful is it? It's really nice, just isn't the it? beds yeah. sweeping away. And I mean, some of these balconies must have some stunning views as well. Oh God, yeah. Stunning views. You can definitely tell it's one of their newest builds. It's got a smell. Yes. It does and seem to have a, yeah, it's nice. See, I'd love standing on the back, sitting on the balcony, listening to that. I'd love that. So there's a few different experiences you can do. They've got a nice campfire. That'd be lovely. Complimentary marshmallow roasting. Oh, I'd like that. Painting on the Riviera. Yeah. And then you've got a Skyliner rally scavenger hunt to get your steps in as you travel around the resorts on the Skyliner. It's a bit like what we're doing, only we're not doing a scavenger hunt. Looks amazing. Hello, morning. Oh, it looks pretty cool. Movies under the stars as well. Let's you know what's on. It is lovely in here. Lovely. We're going to take a little wander around. Plenty of signs letting you know what uh, is going on. I think we go up now. I think, and that's not the movie. I think we end up going. We've got to go up to that top level. I think. Here's the eventy room, so you've got other, there's the, where you do the painting and stuff, I think, Laura, in there. Yeah. So we did just ask the lovely staff member in the, uh, in the arts and crafts room, if you can just come and do it, if you're not a guest, then you can. It's $50 if you want to do that uh, painting the Riviera one, but you don't have to be staying here. I think it's like a, morning, it's just like a quick serve, I think, in here. You can get different salads and food and stuff, so I think you don't need a reservation for this one. Spicy Italian sandwich, that sounds nice. Bacon cheddar burger, grilled chicken sandwich. Some nice food options in here. Laura's just checking out the fridge. What are you eyeing up, Laura? Oh, that'd probably be nice in here as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. Since it's French themed. Good birthday cake, yeah. It's lovely in here, isn't it? It's a lovely resort, this. Yeah, can really feel how modern it is, can't you? Yeah. Really feel how modern it is, all purpose built for the, the crowds that come here these days. Sandwiches do sound nice. Might have to have a little bit of lunch, maybe here or one of the others. Have a little bit of a bite to eat, but yeah, you've got quite a bit going on. All the different options. Yeah, the classic tiramisu. I might have to go for classic tiramisu for breakfast. Might have to be done, Laura. Might have to be done. I might just have to have a classic tiramisu right now for breakfast. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, you I want it now. <laughs> and uh, would you have anything or are you going to save yourself or you're going to some of the other resorts? I don't think no. If nothing's jumping out at you, just the tiramisu's jumping out at me, but we're going to be going to other resorts and stuff. So I'll have a little tiramisu, I think. A cheeky tiramisu. $6.29. 
loads of lovely seating area as well. I'm enjoying this resort. This is uh, now shooting up on the list of places to stay for us that we'd, uh, you know, put on our wish list for future. Just taking a seat outside. Laura's got herself a hot chocolate. Yeah. I've got my tiramisu, which looks absolutely amazing. Very, very small for $7, I would say. It's probably gonna be gone in about three bites, but it's set resort pricing for you. But look at the views we've got. Watching the skyline go. nice twinkly music in the background. Sound of the birds. Now, unfortunately, we cannot get up to that rooftop to have a look, he, he said. I'm still gonna try though. I didn't really, he said it's closed now because they don't do lunch. But there is people up there having a, you know, a look at the views and stuff. So we'll see if we can go up there and show you the views. Uh, you can get breakfast up there, dinner as well, but the reservations just fly out, don't they? Yeah, you can't get them. And it's very Italian themed, isn't it? Never really attracted us hugely, the food. I this was French. Is it French? Oh, yeah, it might be French. Yeah, I think it's Italian. Italian. It could be French. I think it is meant to be French. We'll Google it. Yeah. I think you're right. I think it's meant to be French. Well, they're selling tiramisu, tiramisu is Italian. Why are they I think they're just like, selling a tiramisu because it's like a fancy. Oh, well, you're pretty right, though. It's definitely French. Yeah. <laughs> Not Italian. <laughs> hey! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, tiramisu. Yes. That's probably what's confused me. Yeah. Yeah. So, have a taste, let me know. Very nice. Is it nice? Very moussey. It is very moussey, mm -hmm. and the cake's very coffee. Very, very light. Oh, that looks mm. nice. That's why I was quite happy to have it now, as like a bit of a. Because I've already had a pan of chocolate. If I knew it was coming here, I'd have just got this, but. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Worth the money? Yeah. Oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah, it's. Um... Be made properly. How it should be made. Yeah. Mascarpone cream. Yeah. Proper it's light proper cake with coffee. Mm. Good. As long as you enjoy it, doesn't really matter, does it, on the price? That's why I always say, if you enjoy it, then it was worth the price. Yeah. It is very nice. If you like tiramisu, it is worth treating yourself with the view and stuff as well. I suppose you're paying for the view and where you're sitting and stuff as well. And you, you are paying for the resort, yeah. It's mm -hmm. an expensive, it's one of the top At least top you're getting a lovely view, because a lovely view and a nice seating area, because sometimes you can get, you can pay that sort of price for something, you've got to stand and eat it on a bin, haven't you? Yeah, exactly. These are lovely comfy seats, lovely view, nice it's atmosphere. It's absolutely beautiful, yeah. Results, stunning. Yeah, sometimes, like, yes, Animal Kingdom. Yeah. Paid seven odd dollars for that <laughs> mac and cheese and had to eat it on a bin. Yeah. So. So this is a Disney Deluxe Resort and you can really see why. It's absolutely gorgeous. Just behind us, you've got, like, a chest section. Uh, it looks like a like connect four stuff like that on the grass pool area's got a lovely slide in this one so you've got the pool area there that we showed you and another one here with a nice slide it's probably more of a family one and this is basically connected to caribbean beach so you can have a walk around there or if you're a runner or a jogger you can jog along through to there and that also means you can walk through to sebastian's which is another really popular restaurant sebastian's gets very very high plaudits so you can walk through or you can jump on the Skyliner through to there as well. But if you like a morning walk or a jog, you can do that. Uh, on the roof terrace, you do also get amazing views of Epcot, especially at night with the fireworks. Oh, that's so, again another reason yeah, why it's so expensive. An amazing place up there to watch the uh, Epcot fireworks at night time. You'll probably see some of the other fireworks in the distance as well. Oh yeah, this is well known what um, hotels put where. So yeah. to put a higher end, hotels where you can see the fireworks and they put like the more affordable hotels a bit set back a bit out of the way yeah it's prime location yeah. this yeah they've done well with that haven't they yeah a lot of people do want to sit there from the hotel room and just watch tiramisu was absolutely spot on as it should be for the price but it was spot on i'd have another one of them could eat another one of them now bad with tiramisu me you are. so we can either walk through to uh caribbean beach or we can hop on the skyliner how long is the walk? I'm not sure. I know it's connected. I mean, I think it is only just, it's only just over there. I think that is around where like Sebastian's restaurant is and stuff. You can see the bridge going across where people have walked. There you go, there's a man having a run over there as well. And they've even got, have you noticed the little beach over there, Laura, with yeah, the hammocks and stuff? Gorgeous. Where you can chill that's on there. So nice. Is that Caribbean beach? That is, isn't so I it? I think that would be part of Caribbean beach yeah. then with the little beach area, but yeah. it's all lovely, isn't it? Oh, it is all spot on.
my spin-offs are for to stay on one of these for two weeks. That would be nice. Very nice. I know. Right, so we're heading up to level 10. Let's see how we get on, see if we can get a little glimpse of the view. Bang it in, Laura. It's always worth a try, it's worth an ask, isn't it? Yeah, you never There's know. people up there, but I don't know whether they've had breakfast or something, or... We'll see, it's worth a try. Look how nice the lips are, though. Okay. <laughs> Very. Yeah. Just a bit. I know, it's really nice. Might catch a bit oh, of the view as from the windows or something anyway, and give you an idea of what the views are like. Then it's on to Yotton... Yotton Beach Club, is it? Yeah. Is it Yotton? No, Caribbean, Caribbean Beach. Caribbean Resort. So here's a little idea of the view from the window. So you can see Everest, Tower of Terror. Wow, gorgeous views, isn't it? Stunning. So just had a lovely, lovely cast member has just come over and uh, she was like, oh, when you do a bit of vlogging, let me show you some of the view. So we can see here we've got the Epcot Ball, you've got Contemporary and the Castle just in the distance there as well. Yeah, this is Guardians of the Galaxy building just here. And then if you look in the other direction, you can even see down to Icon Park, International Drive there, you can see the uh, the big wheel and the uh, nice, fantastic views. Wow. Okay, so an amazing cast member called Shannon yeah. just helped us. She was chatting to us, noticed we were vloggers and stuff, and she said, you know, there's a small chance you might get a walk-up table. You can walk up and wait and see what happens. And they are accepting people, so... Although downstairs he was like, no, you need a reservation. Coming up here, Shannon was amazing. She said, you know, even if you come back another day, you can always try and come and turn yeah, up. You can ring up as well. She the situation. She said you can just walk up and see if they're accepting. Um, Walk-ins, yeah. Go down to the security desk and ask there, or you could call up for the yeah. So a big thank you to Shannon because Shannon's got us in. I think we've got a table for two. Yeah, it's going to be amazing views. Yeah. I can't wait now. So we're going to get a bit of a character breakfast. I can see Minnie Mouse is right behind you, Laura, over there. Oh, that's going to be nice. I know, and you're wearing a universal top, Laura. <laughs> Impromptu, though. We didn't know we were coming to this, but... Uh, I know. Staff members are absolutely lovely up here. Lovely. All of them. Even the lady checking us in, every single one of them. So nice. Some very fancy champagne, so just waiting for our table. And there you've got Verve Clique, Dom Perignon, Laurent Perrier, and this one, Le Grand Dame, and of course, Cristal. So you've got a 2012 and a 2014. Which bottle would be better, Laura? That's what the bottle would be better for Perignon. You've got your uh, Moe and Fairy Tale celebration as well. Yeah. Your fancy, uh, having a little bit of a celebratory evening. Well, all day. You drink that, just have a ball in here all day. Exactly, have a bit of fun. Well, I've said it before on this trip, some things are just meant to be. Uh, Laura's not happy that you've got no makeup on and you haven't got a Disney top on, but it is what it is, Laura. We're lucky to be in. We've got a last minute walk in. So we've come in here just to let you know what time it is if you were thinking of doing it yourself. This is 10 past 12. Uh, 10 past 12. So it's more lunchtime, really, that we're getting a breakfast. You are welcome to go out on the terrace once you've had your dinner and your food. Uh, we've got Mickey, Minnie, uh, Daisy. Daisy going around as well. Donald somewhere so you get a bit of a character meet and greet as well now let's show you the menu so we've got breakfast cocktails so Laura might get herself a mimosa that's gonna be $14.50 and then you've got non-alcoholic ones as well and then we've got different types of breakfast I'm not sure what I'm gonna go for but we'll uh, we'll work it out avocado toast wild mushroom scramble wood-fired steak and eggs Ooh, steak and eggs for breakfast and then you've got your different coffees there as well coffee latte macchiato mocha so there you go Little look at the menu but i'm just loving the views I'm, i can't wait to take you outside and show you the views but we've got a view of everest tower of terror galaxy's edge and look at the outfits as well on the characters yeah fantastic
Well, that was really fun. They did a little song and dance all around the uh, yeah. the restaurant. Yeah. Really good fun. So we've got a whole basket of pastries. I mean, if I eat all them, I'm not going to eat any breakfast, am I? Look at them, they're amazing. That is warm. This is warm. The little muffins are warm. Croissants warm, all fresh. You've got different dipping things you can dip in. You've got butter, chocolate, Nutella. So you can dip those in, they look amazing. And then Laura's got her own little gluten-free basket here with a chocolate muffin. And it looks like a cinnamon or a pumpkin. Cinnamon. Cinnamon uh, little mini donuts. Yeah. And I've gone for a juice as well. And Laura, what flavour juice did you go for, Laura? Guava juice. Guava Stop juice. Guava, orange pineapple. Oh, nice. Juice, yeah. And then we did get a little postcard when we came in, full on the Riviera. I do love the outfits as well. Oh, it's just so relaxing in here as well, though. It's not wild, is it? The characters went around. It's dead spacious. No, they've kept it really, it's lovely and calm, still relaxing, yeah. but also with yeah. characters. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's behaving, there's no one jumping around or anything, it's lovely in here. Really nice, But yeah. also the views make it, I mean, I've just been admiring the views for ages, you can see Everest mm -hmm. just there. I just love soaking in the views while we're sitting here. These little mini warm chocolate muffins are just to die for. They don't even need dipping in the Nutella, they're just gorgeous without. Laura, not mega on the cinnamon, but loving the uh, chocolate muffin. Yeah. Putting a bit of Nutella on there as well, aren't you? Good to say so for these, this is going to be uh, a chocolate chip muffins, mm. yep. crumb cakes, or like an apple cinnamon crumb cake, croissants, okay. honey butter, strawberry jam, and Nutella for you. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. And then you've got the allergy ones there as well. So you've got a whole bag of eat all them. I won't eat breakfast, so I'm going to stop after this. But I've uh, eat all them. The croissants look amazing, don't they? Look at the little, that's the apple crumb muffin he mentioned underneath. Yeah. Gorgeous. But yeah, I mean, share them between four, but I've eaten all them on my own. I won't uh, be able to move. Here's Daisy, come to say hello. <laughs> like your nails. Go, let me get a picture there. Oh, nice. Thank you very much. We love your outfit, Daisy. You look lovely. Very nice. Ah, yeah, see the match. You. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Have a good day. Oh, you go. The little face, little character meet and greet. Nice. We just have to be sort of as natural as you can, don't you? With them, some people get a bit awkward or intimate. I never know what to say, or because they don't cause talk it's, back, it's do hard, they? It's quite yeah. yeah. It's hard. Oh, they are good though. They are really good. Nice little meet and greet with Daisy. We've got uh, Mickey's going around there as well, so he'll be back. Hey, we just ordered. I've done a bit of a sort of a customish breakfast. I've gone for waffles, bacon, sausage. I'm going to try some of the orange maple syrup, and then I've got regular maple syrup on the side as well. Yeah, yeah I think you'd like. So I'm a little bit fussy. Syrup. You've gone for gluten-free waffles. Yeah. How how they come? We've got eggs, we've got potatoes. So basically, the menu's there. It's a small menu, but you can change, you can swap, you can add, you can take away, and that's what we've done. The thing that's all fixed in the place as well. So yeah. I think they're happy to adapt to. it a little bit if you are a bit fussy like me and you just want some sides of things they'll they'll make it happen yeah obviously you'll Definitely. just pay i don't know how they charge it but they can make it happen for you they, they are pretty Resorts friendly with like it like this will make it happen because yeah. this they've not got it full so no they've got it it's very you pleasurable get a reservation, so oh mickey mouse is, is there yeah. mickey mouse having a bit of fun over there yeah, so they can do those and changes for you to make yeah. it a really good experience. I like his outfit where he's been painting and everything. Yeah. Looks good, doesn't he? We'll have to get our picture with the man himself, the main man. I like the way the self. Here he is. Oh, I've got to get a picture, Laura. There we go. Perfect. Oh, we'll get a little selfie as well. Oh, yeah, go on, you get my selfie. Oh, yeah, see, there you go, the main man on the shirt. She's letting the side down. <laughs> oh, we've got Minnie, Minnie Mouse now. I do like the dress, is lovely. With the book as well. Fantastic. Oh, there you go, get a nice picture, Laura. Perfect. Oh.
Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Oh, the staff and the characters and everything here are amazing, aren't they? Yeah, the staff have been coming over saying, have you met with everyone who you need to meet with? Yeah, just checking everyone's, uh, yeah, you've been around, got pictures with everyone that you want. Donald told me off for having Mickey Mouse on my T-shirt. Now you've been told off. So yeah. We got a picture with him and he, he put his he put his hand against Mickey Mouse, blocking him <laughs> off the T-shirt on purpose. It was good fun. Good. There they are having a bit of banter behind us, look. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's <angry> <laughs> oh. oh, there you go. Now he's calm. He's calmed down now. Is that one of the Barneys you see in the parks, that, isn't it? <laughs> I don't want to do Space Mountain. <laughs> oh. Well, this looks absolutely wonderful. We've got the potatoes. Can't wait to try them. The waffles, bacon, sausage, maple syrup, a little bit of uh, fruit and stuff on the side. That looks gorgeous, and then there's Laura's allergy yeah. one. Look at that! Wow, That's amazing, with your egg on the it? side, over easy. Wow, looks stunning. That Laura, that looks I can't wait to dig into this. Enjoy the views as we eat as well. So, I'm gonna give a little try of the waffle with the orange maple syrup and a little bit of the cream as well. There, yeah, it's all going on in here. The potatoes are gorgeous, bacon and sausage was gorgeous, they've gone already. How's it going, Laura? That waffle is the best waffle I've ever had. Those apples are amazing with that yeah. orange maple syrup. It's stunning. There you yeah. go, best waffle Laura's ever had. Yeah, Can't definitely. be bad, can it? So we're just all done here. I'm just going to show you the bill. We did get 10% off with the annual pass. So the total is 86. So it is obviously a pricey breakfast, but it was very nice. You're paying for the view and things like that. Uh, you just pay a standard $45 and you can eat as pretty much as much as you want. If we ask for another basket of stuff, they bring it. Yeah. And then obviously you've got your tip on top of that as well. So it's not super cheap, but lovely views, lovely food. Got to say Best they were stunning waffle waffles. Yeah. Best waffle Laura's ever had. Yeah. Some great pictures. And apple. Some great picture opportunities, meet and greets. I mean, how long would you wait to meet Mickey in the Magic Kingdom? Exactly. Absolutely hours. Come up here, enjoy your breakfast, enjoy the view, meet also, and greet. I mean a lot of money but it, it is a treat as well though. it's a treat we've been wanting to do it for a couple of trips and um, we've got the other uh, resort breakfast booked i mean we can cancel that but we'll probably keep it because it's not going to be as pricey as this yeah. one but that was stunning lovely food i mean you could if you wanted to they'd probably let you take that away i'm just I'm full to the brim the juice was unlimited so i've tried yeah. about three orange juices but yeah just soaking in the views we're going to head outside now to the terrace and give you a little bit more of the view and then obviously you can see they're starting to close up. Not kicking us out, but they will once we've all finished. They will close up and uh, it might be back open again for dinner. So they don't do lunch up here. So what I would say is if you want to come, don't be afraid to come and try and do a walk-in one. I just come up in the lift and ask them if there's a possibility of waiting for a table. I think you've got a lot more of a chance coming later in the morning like me and Laura did, 11, half 11. You've probably got a lot more of a chance because the main rush has all been in, dawn, and then they want to go off to the park. So I would probably say later in the morning, you've got more of a chance. But yeah, there's stunning views. This is all Epcot here. You can see a bit of World Showcase. All right, let's go out onto the terrace and have a look. Oh, wow, check out this terrace up here. What gorgeous, comfy seat in there. And then look at the views that we've got all around. Down into the main pool area, there's the pool. That's where we sat before and had the tiramisu just down there. Beautiful, isn't it? I love that grassy area as well where you can just sit and chill. And yeah, here's a view skyliner. This is where we're going to next. This is your uh, Caribbean beach. We're going to go and have a little look at. As you can see, you can walk around and jog around, go over the little bridge there. And the distance, let's show you some of the landmarks. So just here, you've got Tower of Terror just there. And then Galaxy's Edge. There's the very top of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Behind that, that bit of white thing you can see just next to Tower of Terror to the left is your Blizzard Beach. Next to that, we can see some of Animal Kingdom. You can see Mount Everest just there. Then you've got Swan and Dolphin Resort at the boardwalk. That's where we came from earlier this morning. And then further round to the right, you can see a little bit more. It's further round to the other side that you can see a little bit of uh, 
Magic Kingdom, you can't quite see it from here, but just behind this roof here is, if you go round uh, to the window, you can see the uh, Epcot ball. We can see a bit of World Showcase here as well. It's just stunning, absolutely stunning. So your Epcot fireworks will be going off up there, I think, in that direction. Yeah. Gorgeous, stunning, stunning. I mean, imagine the rooms the other side there, the view oh, that they've got yeah. of Epcot. Some of these balconies here, the views that you've got all around. Absolutely stunning. I think we can see Pop Century Resort just over there as well. It's gorgeous. You could look at this all day long. All day long, just watching the skyliners go. Oh yeah. And then the pool. Everyone raves about the pool area. Cool little slide. Very nice, very, very nice. I'd love to stay here one day. Have to uh, save up quite a bit. Well, it would be nice to stay a night or a couple of nights maybe. Ideal if you love Epcot and you want to treat yourself. You've got a special occasion. You've just got married or something. You want to treat yourself to a lovely hotel. You love Epcot. Come and stay in here a couple of nights. Have a Topolino's for breakfast. Get yourself in straight into Epcot. Dead easy. We're getting around in general pretty easy from here with the Skyliners. You can get to um, Hollywood Studios pretty easy on the Skyliner from here as well. Oh, it's nice. Just going to soak in these views for a little minute. Well, top marks for that. Really enjoyed it. Good, nice couple of hours. Fantastic food. Amazing staff. Again, big thanks to Shannon. Amazing. She's not here at the moment to thank her, but if, without her, we probably would have just come oh, up, yeah. seen the view oh, and left. Yeah. So she, uh, she made us that with, uh, with that. We're going to go down now and have a little look at a Caribbean beach. Then we're going to jump on the skyliner rather than walk because yes. it demanded to say it's a bit of a walk. To get to we'll the centre of it, yeah. Yeah, we want to go to the centre, see what's happening there. Then we might go on to Pop Century from there or something like that. We'll have a little look, see? Yeah. If I enjoyed that, again, let me know in the comments. It is a little bit pricey, but for the experience, the, the nice food, the views, the characters, do you think it was worth it? Let me know down in the comments. Yeah, it wasn't a standard <coughs> breakfast. No, no, it's, it's, it's a one, for us, it's, you know, we've done that, we might maybe do it again next trip, but it's like a once a trip thing. We wouldn't do it like every single day. Where did you come down to, Lauren? Lobby, lobby's this way, you sure? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's getting a bit lost then already. Beautiful resort. Do you want the loo? Yeah. Okay, I'll let you go to the loo. Let me grab the gear. Now they've also got Le Petit Cafe, and this is where you can get some very indulgent, lovely looking cakes. Seasonal cupcake looks good. Look at that, the hazelnut caramel profiteroles. Look at them. They look amazing. Wow. You can get nice coffees and stuff in here. And then you've got another little chill area here, like a library. You can sit and do some work there. You can see someone's laptop. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> so we are a level above. We are on the wrong level. Yeah. Which, uh, which I did think we were wrong, Laura. Just the <clears throat> but yeah. Just the lobby. All right. So now this is nice, isn't it? You can get yourself a nice little uh, coffee in the morning and do a little bit of work, bit of emails. Love that light fitting. Now a quick little look in the shop, the little resort stop, the uh, resort store, vacation club jersey. See, I love all the vacation club merch. Morning. But I feel like you can't have it if you're not an actual vacation club member. Ooh, what's Laura spotted now? Oh, here we go. Oh, hey. we're in trouble now, aren't we? I oh, see, you shouldn't have got that Tommy Hilfiger bag, should you? <laughs> I thought you'd regret it. We're not going to be able to get it home, though, are we, Laura? We've not got a suitcase. I did think when you got the Tommy one, I thought you might spot a Disney one. Oh no, it's a bargain, I'm getting it. And now look, you've spotted the Riviera one, which is gorgeous. It's oh, nice, so isn't it? That's done on the ears. See, if you came here the first day, I would have brought one. I know, the oh. ears are lovely as well, aren't they? I'm so upset. See, that's why you've got to hang on as well if you, if you are going to go to any of the resorts. But we didn't think you were going to come to the resort. No, no. We didn't have it out this band. No, but if you can hang on and double check, that's nice as well, isn't it? All of the merch in here is lovely so far. Let me just have a look at some of the ornaments. It's nice, like that. Something a little bit different. All your little mugs and stuff as well. Nice, isn't it? 
even the t-shirts i just i like the design i like the logo quite like that where it's like embossed on the front oh, yeah. and then some nice tommy bahama stuff as well how thin is that nice it's lovely how much is the tommy bahama this is doo -doo -doo -doo, no price okay so expensive yes. <laughs> yeah it's nice tommy harbour jumper some nice stuff in here there's the bag again how much is it laura standard price <laughs> laura in a lounge flies this is nice as well i quite like that one as well i've well. yeah, got two two lounge Thank flies you. in here Drop it. <laughs> See? Shouldn't have got the Tommy Hilfiger one, should you? I mean, the only other option is you buy it and take the Tommy Hilfiger one back. No, I can manage to You can't them. manage to. We've got just hand luggage. Yeah, but you take the Disney bags through and you think you bought it in the airport. Yeah, you can't stop it from buying in the airport and take it on the plane with you. Yeah. I think you've got to be careful. I know. You're going to be going be through careful. with la three lounge flies. Oh, <laughs> I really want well, really, really want. just bear in mind you're taking a risk that you might have to bin one of them if we get in trouble with the baggage. <laughs> How much is it? 88. It's a decent price. The oh, ears are nice as well, aren't they? You could have had it matching. I know. It is a nice, uh, nice lounge fly, isn't it? Well, if you think you're going to get it in, you might have to crush it in your bag or something. I'm not going to crush it in. I'm just going to... Oh, see, see now you can't just get one. You've got to go round through them all and pick. And it's going to be absolutely perfect. <laughs> damage during packaging. Damage during going to be damage when you shove it in your bag to get on the plane, isn't it? It's so nice. It's absolutely stunning. Well, on your head it be. <laughs> I'm doing it. I mean, you'll get your annual pass discount, but... Yeah, I've got myself. Nice. Just don't tell Aer Lingus. <laughs> well, enjoying a nice little ride now across to uh, Caribbean Beach, which is all below us. You can see the pool area there as well. So that's Sebastian's just there. It's meant to be really, really good for uh, dining, something to keep an eye on or have a little look at the menu of Sebastian's. I've seen quite a few people go in there. It's like another quiet sort of calm resort. Yeah, I think it is a um, proper service restaurant. We are now sailing over Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, where every day feels like a, just a new celebration. Right, we're now in the Caribbean now. I know, what a happy place on the Yes, uh, nice little jump, grab one of them and jump on the Skyliner. Yeah. So we're going to head just towards the middle. It's a massive, massive resort, this, by the looks of it. We're going to try and head to the middle and uh, show you a little bit of Sebastian's, maybe the pool area, something like that. Just get a little bit of a feel for the place. But it does look like it's got loads of different sections and segments and blocks of this resort. So it looks pretty big. Walk around this way. We'll have a little look at this map here. It gives you an idea. There's a lot of sections to this. You've also got uh, Old Port Royal, Jamaica, Aruba. So you can see just how big this resort is, is right here. So we're here. We've just come from the Riviera. So we've gone that way. So yeah, you can see the little Caribbean K in the middle. There's Sebastian's. We went straight over. I pointed that out. So we're now here. So I want to just go along here and just have a look across Maybe go onto this little island here and you can do a little hop across the middle. But yeah, you can see how big it is. So if you've just, if you're just like, oh, we're staying in Caribbean beach, it's like, which section? Because there's so many. Jamaica, Aruba. So I'd say Barbados yeah, and Jamaica are the best to jump on the Skyliner. This one, you're gonna have a bit of a walk or you maybe walk into Riviera. But yeah, right, let's, uh, let's have a little mooch then. I think we try and get to this little middle section, Caribbean K. Sounds like a stop on a cruise ship, that, doesn't it? It does, definitely. Well, now you're inside, it really does feel good walking around. Seeing it from a distance is one thing, but actually walking through like I'm in the Caribbean. with all the trees like and the buildings. We don't know where we're going, so it's quite fun getting a little bit lost. I think we're heading roughly in the right direction. Not too bad with the bearings. Yeah, it is nice. Nice smells as well as you walk through all the different trees and stuff bright colors banana trees there it does feel very caribbean doesn't it 
tell you what also feels Caribbean, the current temperature and humidity. It's really ramped up today, humidity yeah. wise. Yeah, we're so, gonna get a storm again later. Gorgeous tree and flower there. Yeah, just nice to see something different, get little tasters of, you know, what you might want to stay in in future or if anyone's staying in here anytime soon let us know in the comments or if you've stayed before so many resorts to choose from it's hard to uh, decide i think riviera would be right up there now now we've visited oh, that yeah, one definitely. look at these cool little hammocks though oh, hammocks. so it's not quite as big as it looks on the map we're going to be going over that bridge there that's the little island we wanted to see and then cross the next bridge and that's Sebastian's over there. So we'll have a little wander around. But how cool is that? The little hammocks that you can just chill in, relax, do a bit of sunbathing, chat with family, get some nice pictures. I'll go onto this little island here. It's very immersive. When you're up there, it doesn't look as, as good as when you're right in the middle of it. Hopefully being in the middle of it, I feel like I am. Yeah pools all around you. So here's some of the resort activities here, very similar to what they've got in Riviera. You've got the campfire with marshmallows, uh, poolside activities from 12 o'clock till 2, Mickey tie-dye activity. That's quite good fun, you do a bit of tie-dying. You get pine uh, pineapple social located at the movie lawn and then different wellness activities as well movies under the stars so similar but a little bit different they didn't have the uh, mickey tie-dye in riviera and you can scan the qr code if you want everyone if you scan the screen that'll bring up all those activities that you can do don't forget you don't have to be staying here to come and do it you can come you can go in there you can pay the dollars and do your mickey tie-dye activity even if you're staying in a villa or if you're staying in universal it doesn't matter you can still come down and do these things they'll charge you but doesn't matter if you're going to have fun and enjoy it, doesn't matter. Exactly. So this is Caribbean K. I think this is just a nice little sort of tropical walk through. I don't think there's anything particularly here. Okay, there is. They've got a little kids playground. Wow. This area is for your enjoyment from sunrise to sunset. Supervise your kids when they're in here. This looks nice and new as well. It all looks uh, quite modern and new, everything that's in here. Okay, so there is more here than I thought. If we just come around this way, I can see some chairs and deck chairs over there. Oh, this is nice. You wouldn't even realise all this was here. We've done so many trips over the years. And it's only once you start delving that you really find all this stuff. These little cannons. There's Riviera, where we've come from, to give you your bearings of where, where we've come to. Disney Duck. So yeah, that's, that's Topolino's Terrace right there that you can see. That's where we were stored. That's where we've had our breakfast just up there. So this is the little island that we could see in the middle in the distance. There you go. You've got nice little yes. chill chairs. You can relax. Nice. Now, I wonder if that's pointed in the direction of fireworks. I think it is. I think in that direction over there is Epcot. So I think you would see the Epcot fireworks here. Yeah, and you would sit and stand on this lawn and watch them. Definitely, this is firework viewing here. And again, nothing to stop you coming and doing it. There's nothing to stop you coming in and, and enjoying the fireworks no, from here. Absolutely nothing at all. No. Nice. Very nice. I think you would have to get here early, I would say. Oh, definitely, because a lot of people use these areas for the fireworks, don't Yeah. And then they've got these little chill hammocks here as well. This guy's just chilling, reading a book. I'm not going to disturb him. Yeah, you've got these little chill hammocky things. Look at that, it's cool, isn't it? Lovely. Imagine watching the fireworks there from your hammock. <laughs> Can't be bad, can it? Nice, got the blue skies are coming out now. You see it's really brightening up. That's where the heat's ramped up from. And there's Sebastian's, we can see just through the tree line. Let's go and have a little look at Sebastian's. See what the menu looks like. Well, another one bites the dust. Here's another pool area ticked off the list. This looks nice and entertaining, doesn't it? Kids activities going on. Nice themed all around. Let's have a little look at Sebastian's. I like this resort, I do. Which resort would you stay in, everyone? Out of all the Disney resorts we've shown you that you've maybe seen elsewhere online, etc. What resort would you go for? Boardwalk, Riviera, this one's nice. 
contemporary's always taken my fancy with the monorail going through. Really, really hard choices now. So this is Sebastian's Bistro. It's got a nice cool banana cabana bar outside. You can have a little drink. Very Caribbean feels to it. Very um, Bahamas sort of feel to it as well. I feel like I'm back on the cruise, Laura. Oh, yeah, so it's gorgeous, isn't it? You're very. And we love the Bahamas, so we in the Key West. And all yeah, that. and it's the really coloured right. buildings and the theming of it all. Yeah. Let's have a quick look at the menu. See what's going on here, food-wise. So I think it is quite seafoody based. Let's see, Butterhouse pull apart rolls. Yeah. Uh, we've got oven roasted citrus chicken. That's probably very nice. Grilled chili rubbed beef with mojito relish. Uh, sustainable baked fish as well and slow cooked mojo pork. Look at that. House made coconut pineapple bread pudding with caramel sauce and ice cream. And then you can add some uh, nice cocktails, alcoholic or non-alcoholic. The fried coconut shrimp with creamy chipotle dipping sauce. Okay, so these are extra, sorry. These are the cocktails. So nothing really that would take our fancy personally, but I'm sure a lot of you would like the look of some of this food. And uh, I think you do need a reservation. It's open daily from 4.30 to 9.30, Sebastian. So it's not a breakfast place, just to make that clear. It's an evening dinner place, 4.30 to 9.30. Yeah, you can chill here and have some drinks and stuff in the uh, banana cabana. Do you want a little drink here or do you want to carry on, Laura? Or what are you, what are you thinking? Carry on. Carry on. I don't know where else we're going to have a little wander around a bit further. Then we're going to get back on that Skyliner and then carry on to somewhere else. Yeah, this is nice. Shame you can't rent the boats here. That would have been nice. But I don't think the, the lakes connect, unfortunately. It would be cool if you could uh, rent some of the little boats and stuff. Got another restaurant over there. Yeah. It's lovely. So there is a little sign here saying insects, and that is correct. So because of the humidity here in Florida, you are right by the water of an evening time. You are prone to being bitten by mosquitoes. So... Uh, we've had it in the past down in the keys and stuff like that anyway we are, we're anywhere near water or nature in florida evening time humid oh, you, get you, do, you do get bitten so i would bring your bug spray if you're going to come down and watch the fireworks there on that sandy area that's a prime location to be bitten by mosquitoes and stuff so do bring your bug spray with you but uh, you do get them and we've been bitten alive especially in, in uh, the keys when we went uh, a year or so ago, we got bitten alive there, watching a storm by the ocean. I even like the music going around, chilled. Yeah. Some of the characters going around here, we've got all the 100 years of is the outfits for these. Pluto and Goofy there. There was a couple that we didn't see at breakfast. There they are, like his tag with the 100 on. <laughs> He's off. Oh, it's nice to see. Do you want your picture with Pluto? Oh, you got to get a quick picture, Laura. Ah, oh, there you go. Get yourself in there. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Oh, so let me do a quick selfie. Do a quick. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Oh, Pluto, my favourite character. It's well, been a fantastic little day in these, these resorts this morning. Let's have a quick look in this store. Have a little wander through, see what uh, food and stuff's on offer. Oh, he's awesome. I love the outfit, the 100 silver outfit. Brilliant. So we've got all the specific Caribbean beach resort merchandise now as well, which again is really nice some of the stuff they make is is so nice lovely aren't they see if they sold them in the parks they'd fly out but they keep them quite exclusive so you've got to come here to the resort to get them different little decorations funky shirts so this mug sort of sums up our our day today laura just follow the vibe and we have just followed the vibe today it's just gone with the flow and it's it's sort of gone to plan really Hello, enjoyed it. Yeah, might Hello. grab a quick cold drink while we're in yeah, here to walk definitely. with. 
I love these resort shops. They're so quiet, fully stocked. They've normally got stuff that isn't in the parks as well. These to me are some of the best merch stores. A, to look around, B, to find stuff. And they always just have little things that aren't in the parks. So you've got the quick save here as well. They do all your burgers, a hot Cuban sandwich, a swashbuckler burger, which has got coconut curry alioli on it. Uh, pizzas, there's all kinds on there, loads of options. So it really wouldn't take you that long to walk around and even jog around. It'd be a lovely jog if you were into that or a power walk in the morning to go all the way around Riviera. It's almost like a, it's a nice big loop. So really we could carry on around now and walk around back through the Riviera and back onto the Skyliner. But I think we'll go back the way we came, jump on the Skyliner again and uh, see where we can go off to next, see what happens. Whether we head into a park or something. Yeah. See what we feel. I mean the days, so I've got plenty of time in the day, still really ill. Yeah, the day's young, yeah, the day is young. Is. So good news, I did just decide to jump on the Universal website to yeah. check for Express Passes tonight mm -hmm. and they had them. Just yeah. regular Express Passes, not the Unlimited, the regular ones. They were $150 each. It's pricey, but $150 is better than the Unlimited ones, probably would have been double that. Oh, double, definitely. And then the RIP tours with the cheapest ones for that were like $400 for RIP tours. They were sold out, but when you could get them, they were like $379 yeah. each. So. So we'll I'm happy with that, we've got the standard passes, express yeah. pass. I think by the time you do all 10 houses, you'd be knackered anyway, so uh, that's good for us. And then we can still us. go back when, and then do other houses in the quiet as well. Yeah, so. we do them all tonight. We'll pick our favourites to then do again next week when we pop back. Yeah, yeah made up, we got them, just the standard ones. Uh, we haven't got to do the after 11 ones where you've got to cram it all in. The after 11 ones are $90 plus tax, and you've got to do it all within like three hours. Yeah. Whereas these are 150 we got all night to use it. Is that no big rush? So, oh, someone's dropped their pin. I'm gonna grab that, Laura. Someone's lost their pin. Let's have a look. What one is it? Norway, Epcot. Norway, Epcot. I'm sure we'll see a cast member to give it to. Yeah, we'll try and hand it in. Someone's dropped their pin. Make sure you've got good little backers on your pins so they don't fall off. Let's have a little look. It's just really, really thin. Look, small. Yeah, let's have a look. That's nice, isn't it, from the Norway Pavilion? Yeah. It's a new one as well, because it's got the modern Epcot, the way it's yeah. written, the modern Epcot. We can uh, hand it in, and we'll see if someone anyone finds it. Or they might suggest trading it, I don't know. It'd be hard to uh, locate the owner of a bit of a pin, but we'll hand it in anyway. So we've decided to uh, call it a day. We're going to head back to the villa now for a little break. Uh, we've got to do a bit of filming of the villa, a bit of a chill, have a shower and then get ready for Horror Nights later on. So we might pop back to Pop Century or some of the others maybe another day, might we? Yeah. They were nice, weren't they? So we're coming back into Epcot now, then we're going to walk back to the car. It's a shame because we've just flown literally right over it. But you could just press a button and drop into your car would be nice. I know, that'd be nice. But yeah, we're going to head back for a little bit now and then uh, we'll catch you when we're back at the villa, see what's going on. Yeah. Look at that, Ratatouille. Yeah. Do enjoy a bit of Ratatouille, it's a good fun ride that. Good addition to Epcot, I think. It is, yeah. We are now arriving at Epcot. So we're just chilling back at the villa now. Just got myself a bottle of Prime and I've just warmed up some of my nachos from Chili's yesterday. I'm gonna have a few little uh, nachos. One of my Krispy Kremes, bit of Prime, bit of Netflix. And then we're off to Universal for uh, Horror Nights. So just have a little snack now. Just warm these up in the microwave. Perfect. Well, we're just getting ready for Horror Nights and look at this. Jeez, I hope this is just a passing one. It is absolutely bouncing down, same as yesterday. Similar sort of time as well. Chucking it down. Oh boy, maybe this is why the fast passes were available for tonight. Maybe they knew people wouldn't turn up with the weather. Wowee, oh boy. Jeez. Well, we're all set for Horror Nights. Here we go, let's have a little look at these earrings, Laura. Oh, I like them. Wonder Hawkins, and I've 
Very Lock nice. The bag as well. You're going to be all right carrying that? It's not going to annoy you tonight? No, be fine. Nice. Looking very nice for HA Channel. Hello. Set to go. You've got your Horror Nights top on as well. Yeah, a bit of glitter The Stranger on. Things bag going on. Doing well here, aren't I? Looking good, apart from the fact it's, it's still me. absolutely lashing down outside. So we're going to make our way there. We're going to pick up the Fast Passes from the Will Call desk. You could keep them on your phone, but I don't want to be getting my phone out all the time to scan no, into a house, etc. Yeah, that would be way. easy. Yeah, just scan into the... Yeah. The lines. Well, hopefully not too much rain. Let's see how we get on then, Laura, because they do close some of the houses when they have the storms. So let's hope for a good night. Let's see how we get on. Let's see how we get on with fast passes as well. Yeah. Let's see if the fast passes are worth it. If you can, you know, do it quite comfortably with and fast let's pass. Let's see if what houses, if they do get closed because of rain, if we can use that fast pass another day. Yeah, or if you can use it on another house to go through yeah. twice or something, we'll find out. Find out. So we've just been some, through some epic rainstorms, absolutely crazy. Um, didn't take us too long to get here considering the rain. It's all clear, look at this junction here. I know, it's very Compared nice. to the other night when we queued for ages to get up into uh, Universal itself. Not bad at all. I'm thinking it's gonna be pretty quiet in there. Not quiet, but Fair quiet enough. compared to what we've seen. Yes, and I'm hoping that that is coming our way and not that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty grim over yeah. there. So. We're going to see, we're going to find out, I mean, if it's absolutely horrendous and houses are closed, we're going to see if maybe Universal will be kind and give us a fast pass for another night instead. Yeah. Uh, we're just going to have to sort of park up and suss out the situation. It looks very bleak straight ahead. Yeah. Just above Universal now isn't too bad, but... No, that's nice. It just depends which way the storm's moving. I can never tell. Yeah. But, I mean, judging by this traffic now, the last few times we've done Horror Nights and been coming to this junction at this hour it's been chaos it, yeah it's been just bumper to bumper this isn't bad at all so i think the rain will put a lot of people off uh, particularly if you've got like a frequent fear pass people will be like ah it's wednesday and it's raining and i'm not going yeah i'll go tomorrow when it's not so bad i do wonder though when we went to the kiosk and she said all the fast passes are gone you'll have to wait till the day off see if they do the unlimited one which is you know more expensive when i logged on there and there was fast passes just there available normal fast passes yeah I do wonder if they look at the weather forecast and go, mm, it's looking pretty bleak. Less people are going to come. It's going to be raining. Release more fast passes. Yeah. I really do think so. I think that's what they've done. They've seen the forecast. They know when it rains, a lot of the people with frequent fear don't come. That reduces the normal lines. That means they're going to have more people in the express lines. I do think maybe they've seen the forecast, seen it's Wednesday and gone. Release another, yeah. another thousand fast passes. Oh, get cut up all over the show here. <laughs> oh, they'll cut you up whether it's rain and storm and you can barely see. They'll cut you up any yeah, which way. They don't care, do you? Yeah, undertake, overtake. You've got to be on your guard all the time. So we'll get ourselves in and we'll we'll see what's going to happen here. I mean, either way, I think we're getting wet, no matter what. I'm going to put my apron on. You're going to take your umbrella, aren't you? I think I'm going to take the umbrella. I think so. It might be end up being a pain in the bum walking around with it all night, but. We'll see. If it's going to keep raining like this, we're going to need yeah. it. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's coming quite handy, the umbrella. And then if I am in the houses and someone comes at me, I can be like, wow. <laughs> and have then a get bit of this umbrella. Out. Yeah. Yeah. And get kicked <laughs> out, yeah. Remember, you, whatever happens, if you come to Horror Nights, no matter what you do, scare zones, houses, whatever, remember you cannot touch any of the scare You actors. can't touch them, you can't scare them, you can't anything. No. If you do anything silly with the scare actors, you will be kicked out. And it's not you can be kicked out, it's you, you will. You will be, and potentially you'll be banned as well, things like that, so... Well, um, some people, to the year, scared in the, in the queue, and I, and I probably kicked off, and he said, the staff said we can get them kicked off the park if you like. Yeah, they started so, like, doing silly things in the queue line, didn't yeah. they? They're like jumping out and scaring people and stuff, and yeah, they weren't impressed. But, and they said, oh, we'll kick them out if you want. We're like, no. no leave them in we don't want to be the sort of people to get people kicked out but we they the are option. quite strict yeah. in here yeah oh we're heading on in i've got to say though the sky just make it a lot more spooky as you head on in all that crowd cloud cover i'm starting to get a little bit nervous now get those few little butterflies as you head on in we're going to pick up our uh, fast passes and uh, well i want to get on the wi-fi once i'm in i'll check on the situation with the houses see if there's any weather delays on some of them and then we'll work out a little plan of action yeah, I do get a few little butterflies, a few little bits of nervousness as you head in. 
and you've got to be you've got to you've got to be a little bit nervous and a little bit scared and stuff coming in it's the whole fun of it yeah if you don't get scared and that i don't see the point of coming in really yeah. you've got to have a little bit of uh yeah. you know you got to get a few jumps and stuff oh now this is feeling really spooky it makes a big difference walking in at night when it's dark yeah. you're gonna have a lot more of the effects coming in it does make a difference walking in at this time rather than uh, in the dark i imagine everyone that did stay and scream today must have got absolutely drenched see what the situation's like so uh, the man just said that uh, we quickly asked the guest relations there in uh, city walks and he said if you go to the will call just on the right hand side here you put the card in that you use to pay for the tickets the fast passes and it just spits them out the machine it verifies it with the card so we'll see how easy that works it should just be a case of popping it in the machine out come a couple of fast passes and away we go into the madness oh look at the atmosphere in there the smoke and the uh, real buzz in there look at that okay so we do have a big change of plan as you can see we are in the rip tour zone uh, we were going to the will call desk to pick up our fast passes yeah and uh, we thought we'd just just pop in and ask you never know i said any chance of upgrading to an rip tour they said no we're fully booked but we can check and ask yeah. and then we'll let you know well everyone a uh, big change of plans We've, uh, we kept saying that uh, some things are just meant to be. So uh, we were having trouble picking up our will call tickets for the fast passes. Having a bit of trouble, it wasn't working. So we were gonna go and queue up at the desk and I said, that's RIP tours there. Let's quickly just pop in and ask, you never know. So I asked, you got any RIP tours for tonight? No, we're fully booked as a car, that's a shame. You know, we keep been trying to book and we're struggling. It's all fully booked. Um, we've got Express Pass instead, so she said, let me go and check for you. She went round the back and uh, went into the back, came back out and said, yes, I've got availability for two people tonight, 8 o'clock, half 7, 8 o'clock tour. So we've upgraded our Fast Passes to an RIP tour instead. Now, obviously, it is a bit of a treat for me and Laura. This is probably our Christmas and birthday present. It was like 400 quid extra, but we love it. This is one of our special nights that we do. We do love the RIP tour, we'll let you know again at the end tonight if it's worth it. We've come in a few nights without anything at all, so now we're doing RIP, let's see. Let's see what we get to. We're going to get every single house done, front of the line. We're going to get a VIP seat for the dance, which is always the best seat. Yeah. And then we've got fast passes for all the rides. Fast passes for all the rides when the RIP tour is done. It's up until 2am tonight, so it's going to be a good, fun, busy night. But yeah, always worth asking. Have you got any always pop in and ask because originally she said no and then it turns out there was yeah and then she checked and there you go we're on so we're gonna head round to cafe la bamba now and uh, check in oh look at this now it's all dark as well yeah look at this here we go Zones are so much better when it's fully dark like this. Look at him there, wee! <laughs> I'm in the mood now. I'm in the mood now. Didn't think we'd be doing RIP tonight, but things change. I'm mega excited. So here we are then, Cafe La Bamba. This is where you do get a few complimentary snacks and things. Uh, so we'll have a little bit of a bite to eat, get ourselves checked in. Then our tour guide will come and get us and we'll start the tour. So we'll just show you what uh, some of the food is that's available. You can have as much as you like, but we've got like uh, tacos and nachos. We can make like a nice little wrap there. Is that chicken, is it? Pork? Different salad stuff here. What else have we got going on? It's just a little bit of the same. Might, oh yeah, I might make yourself some nice chicken wrap. That'd be nice. Couple of little desserts here. You've got a cookies and cream, mummy bites, sugar cookies, macarons, and then just on this side, we've got more. You've got like the classic pizza fries. There's a pizza fries, Laura, that you wanted. The bread, cheddar jalapeno, 
Hellfire Club fights. Ooh, it all looks good, doesn't it? You've got to get yourself some nachos, uh, some of the pizza fries for sure. So you have got complimentary soft drinks as well. So we'll take a couple of Coke Zeros. You do get some bits included. Where's Laura gone? Here's Laura, grab a couple of Cokes. Coke I've got one. Oh, there's a Sprite in there as well. Uh, get one of each. One of each, I'll take, take one with me. There you go. So Laura's digging into her pizza fries there, which you were going to get anyway. Yeah. And then I've done for like a nice little chicken wrap. Uh, got some little bits of um, chorizo there, which is lovely. Black beans, rice, delicious. Well, me and Laura both just agreed the food this year is absolutely lovely. I've gone for two more. Love this chorizo stuff here. Laura's gone for a second thing of pizza fries. And some Mexican and some salad and stuff. Nice. Really, yeah, really nice. Meant to be today, wasn't it? So we've just checked in for our tour at uh, the Monsters Unmasked, I think it's called. Not Monsters Unmasked, the um, horror makeup show. And uh, they did give us the little RIP button. This is new for this year. Didn't get one last year. So this is a new little thing. You get a free little button. We're all checked in, ready to go. Good horror nights. Again, my name is Anthony. I'll be your RIP tour guide for the evening. Just uh, some rules of the road before we really kick things off. Of course, uh, first and foremost, it's a fun evening. I'm sure uh, my guests, 21 and up, are going to be. Speaking of fun, that's Dr. Rockefeller. <laughs> He's laughing at us already. So, uh, my friends, 21 and up, I'm sure you guys are going to be partaking in some alcoholic beverages this evening. Please, please responsibly. Uh, we are going to be going through haunted houses. We're going through scare zones. That means you will get scared, all right? If your uh, fight or flight instinct kicks in and your instinct is fight, please do not touch the scare. Right? They will not touch you. If you, uh, if you have that urge to just, ah, I gotta punch something, punch me, all right? You're like, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I would rather not get hit over our wonderful scare actors. So uh, they're not going to touch you. Please don't touch them. On the tour, so our first scare zone we're gonna enter is called Jungle of Doom Expedition of Horror. This is the 1920s. It's the first time we're seeing Dr. Oddfellow. He's in the Jungle of Doom. He's searching for these uh, skull of Souls, he finds that skull, and that is what gives him his first taste of his mortal power. In the jungle are some creatures that he's going to take and take control of to twist them and use for his oddity show later on in his career. We're going to see uh, some very strange creatures in the jungle of Duke. So here we go then, our Horror Nights tour begins. We're starting off with Dr. Rodfellow's Scare Zone. Before we head to Dr. Rodfellow's house, Laura's favourite house, it's is our scary. baptism of fire this evening. <laughs> well, you're going to be awake after this one, Laura, because we're starting with it. No warming up. Straight in. Hopefully I won't be so bad this time. But... Straight in with Dr. Rodfellow's. So what the guide was saying was this year, any all of the Dr. Rodfellow's that you see uh, in the scare zones, uh, they are very interactive this year. He was saying, you know, sort of, speak to them, tease them, ask for immortality and things. Uh, they are interactive. That's something to bear in mind as you walk through. Oh, here we go then. Into my jungle with you. There we go, let's go. Interesting things in here, Laura. I uh, don't know where to look. There's so many people as well, it's all blending in, isn't it? The twisting of nature and events is one of the first step towards becoming the most powerful being in this universe and beyond. <laughs> it's going to be Dr. Oddfellow's Twisted Origins. We are going to see the 1930s Dust Bowl of America, where Dr. Oddfellow's Carnival has come to town. And his daytime carnival, it's not great. Uh, it's really pretty bland, pretty stale. No one is super impressed by it. So, 
what he has, uh, what he's done, he's gone after the carnival ends with his posse of clowns, including Jack the Clown. If you're familiar with Jack, their first HHN icon back in 2000. Um, and they've invited all of the guests back for that nighttime carnival. A little bit more sinister, a little bit more evil. This is where Dr. Oddfellow is going to show you his obsession with the Zodiac. He has twisted these creatures to form different variations of Zodiac. So we are now four houses into the tour. It's currently about half past nine. So in only an hour, we've done four houses. Hey, we've come back for a little bit more snacks, a little drunk break, a little toilet break. We're going to talk to you a little bit about the tour when we sit down, uh, what we've been through, what we think, and also some of the stuff that you just don't get walking around without having the RIP tour information. So we're going to talk to you about that in just a moment. Laura's going to grab herself an alcoholic drink as well. So Laura's just come back. She's got herself a mule juice, was it? A ghoul juice. Oh, okay. Your kind of juice, since you are a ghoul. So yeah, the... just going back to Horror Nights, so we've just done um, Dr. Rod Fellows, the, uh, what's it Darkest called? Deal. Darkest Deal, Deal. Monsters Unmasked, all of them absolutely fantastic. Uh, the Last of Us went on for a really long time, I thought that was brilliant. Um, the Hunchback of Notre Dame in Monsters Unmasked was brilliant. I've got to say the houses so far this year have been phenomenal. Scare zones mm, could could be better, but the houses have been amazing. More scares, more jumps, more and the lighthouse. more intricate, aren't they? Yeah, Twisty, windy. The house, the RIP, Yeah. created these monsters based on the Zodiacs. Yeah. And then um, I had to take everyone's souls as they come to see this show. And then at the end, it takes your soul. Yeah, there's just the backstory before you go into the houses makes it more scary, more interesting, more. I know you'll say little things like keep an eye out for this because this is that. And... Well, a while ago, it was hinted that Jack the Clown was coming back. We were all excited and then he never came back. What he did, only Tanny Swidden in Doctor um, Oddfellow's house. He came back and he said, All the Doctor Oddfellow's, if he talked to the interactive, I never went, when he went to that house, he went, he, he takes Jack's soul, puts him in his um, jack in the box, but on the way in to put him in his jack in the box, Jack scratches his eye. He says, From now on, whatever Oddfellow's going to see, he's going to have a scratch on his eye. Just the story in that just really makes it so much scarier and that monsters unmasked, you just go in and you're like, oh, monsters unmasked. But what he was saying was, these are all the universal monsters that don't get to come out and play very often. Yeah. There's no Dracula, no all of that. Yeah. He was like Hunchback of Notre Dame. And then he, the story was about how he was cutting off people's faces to make a new mask. Yeah. And, yeah. He was cutting off people's faces to use to make, uh, as a, Yeah, it was just yeah. the storylines. It does make a massive difference to the experience here. I mean, I'm doing four houses, bang, 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 in an hour and a half. Now you're coming in here, chilling, having a little drink. It's it's a totally different experience, totally different. If you can... Yeah, I think if you come to Horror Nights for one night only, 100% do it. I'm so glad we're paid to do it now, because just after that first bit of experience, we went through Dr. Oddfellows, just queued up and went through it. We went to Darker Steel, queued up and went through it a few nights ago. And the experience was totally different having the backstories first. Totally different. And also, just cut the line, it's raining out there. It's it's not pleasant. I feel sorry for everyone in the lines because it isn't pleasant out there. But yeah, it's a totally different experience. How's your drink? Lovely. You'll have to have a taste if you like it. Strong? No. Okay, well, we're about to resume our tour. We're heading to Stranger Things oh, next, Laura. Oh, Very exciting. Yeah. Can't wait. We're going to take our time going through that, go as slow as we can. Yeah, the Hawking set meant to be amazing. You can see in the distance there as well, you've got the Mel's Die In. So that's normally Dine In, and then they uh, turn the lights off, make it say Die In. Uh, it's, rain is starting to go off a bit now, it's clearing up a bit up there. Good atmosphere in here tonight. We really have been very lucky. And our tour guide is absolutely fantastic. 
Uh, Jonathan's been absolutely brilliant. So the guide was just explaining this next scare zone here is still all connected to Dr. Oddfellow, which is today's icon. Uh, they're going back into one of his deep, dark dimensions. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it is all connected. I won't ruin it all for you if you're going to do one of these tours. But the information's amazing. It is all, you don't realize how connected it all is, do you? The storyline behind everything is amazing. Yeah. Jack the Clown and how it all ties in and Jack the Clown came back and killed Dr. Oddfellow and he's now back in this deep, dark, horrible dimension. And here we go. This is the one with the chainsaws and everything going on. All to do with these Zodiacs as well. You see them all on their backs and stuff. Pretty cool. Plenty of actors in this scare zone tonight. A lot more in this scare zone tonight. Oh, oh, my God. God. So good. Just for you. Not a one through a thousand vampires. Now he works in the same <laughs> no way. Didn't like you, Laura. No one will be left behind. You make sure you explore the dark zodiac. I'm sure you'll find something in <laughs> Wow. So remember how to turn your way to Well, we're just now having a little bit of a break in the uh, Jimmy Fallon VIP bar, which has got a little rooftop bar section here where you can look down on all the queues and stuff. And we have just done the Stranger Things house, which was amazing. We're going to be going through all the houses at the end, giving you a few little uh, bits of tips, a few uh, little things to look out for, different things like that. We did the Yassi house as well, which we've already done. We did it again. It was brilliant. Uh, and that actually has... Uh, the most trees in it that Universal Halloween Horror Nights have ever done in a house before. So little things like that you do find out. Makes it really interesting. So we've got Crafty Hall, a few more houses to go. We're going to be watching the show as well in that VIP seating area. And then uh, we'll see where the night takes us. Our passes do actually double up as fast passes for the rides as well. So when we finish the tour, we can go and do some rides fast pass wise. Yeah, we'll have to do rocket. Yeah, we haven't done Rocket yet this trip, have we? So we'll do that Definitely be trying to get that done since the park's up until 2am. Yeah, good at night. What did you think? We're going to go through them all at the end when we can sit at home and, and do it all properly. Yeah. Talk about each house. What did you roughly think of uh, Stranger Things? Oh, uh, it wasn't scary at all. But all just the aspects of it were just amazing. The details in it were absolutely stunning. Yeah, the music, the details, the scenes that they chose. Really good. Yeah, and um, the way they done it was different to the last two houses. Yeah. It up a bit. The, the only one thing I would have added to it was the section in the prison in Russia. But they said they didn't have that in for some reason. I know, but I would, I would have added it in. I would have had yeah, a section in, in Russia with that. Would have been really cool going through some of the snow and stuff. And I, know, been I thought that would have been amazing. They kept it just to Hawkins, didn't they? Probably just yeah. keep it a little bit simple because there's so many things you could do with it. But yeah, I did think there was going to be a section in that prison. So I remember I, watching the series we thinking that would be amazing in Horror Nights, yeah. that bit. But they didn't, but it was still absolutely amazing. So we're going to have a little bit of a chill now. Yeah, you do we'll, need uh, these breaks when we go to the house so quickly. Oh yeah, you so take warm. these little breaks, but yeah, instead of stood in line, we're just chilling out in a chair, watching uh, Rocket go by. Everyone else is watching the well go by below. It's a lovely area, this. Very beautiful house. If you were here last year, Blood Moon uh, Dark Offerings was created by some of our same senior designers as 
the house last year, which was Dead Man's Pier, Winter's Wake. That was also a very beautiful house. So look around this house. The blood moon will follow you from room to room. It's in reflections on the windows. You can see it through some of the windows as well, which is really fun. Also, the town's bell tower, you can see it from multiple point of views as you venture through. Okay, so look around, take all the scenery in. Very gory as well, so there's your gore warning for this house. Following that, we're gonna go straight through into The Exorcist Believer, based off the new up-and-coming Blumhouse movie. It's coming out October 6th. It was supposed to come out October 13th, Friday the 13th, ooh, spooky. Uh, and then a certain someone uh, named Taylor Swift wanted uh, her Eras tour to be in the theaters on the 13th. I guess 13 is her number. She wanted her Eras tour in theaters, got exorcists pushed up to the 6th. You can do what I'm doing, go on the 13th and see Exorcist, because uh, a lot of people are calling it a little double feature. I think I'll see Exorcist Believer first and finish it off with uh, the Eros tour to uh, get that spooky stuff away. But Exorcist Believer, we're following two little girls, Angela and Catherine, as they get lost in the woods for three days. They come back to their parents, they don't remember anything, but a darkness has attached itself to them. Good luck escaping. It's a creepy house. Probably the scariest one this year for me personally. You guys ready for these two houses? Hey! Here we go then, going through our AC scare zone now. Still all connected to Dr. Oddfellow. He's uh, sent uh, people to attack the uh, concerts. Uh, it's going to be a good one. Hey! got some amazing seats and it's like a common practice now that people while a sat board waiting try and airdrop all kinds of pictures to you so I've just accepted one right it's Brendan Fraser enjoying a buffer beer yeah. the random things people airdrop in here is crazy okay so a tour all done Anthony that we had I got his name wrong earlier it was Anthony not Jonathan don't know where Jonathan came from yeah. Anthony was absolutely brilliant loved it uh, it does completely change the Halloween Horror Nights experience completely. Yeah. Uh, it changes your mindset with the houses, with the walkthroughs, the whole the theming. The the yeah, yeah. It, it makes it far more interesting when you know the story, you know what you're looking for, you know like the backstory. All of it. Yeah. Makes yeah. a big difference. So we're, we've now got. It's now one o'clock, we've got another hour till the park closes. We can use our lanyards as fast passes for the rides. So we might see about maybe doing Rocket as we leave. If it's not too long, we'll see how we get on. Uh, you can't use the, the passes, fast passes for the houses. Uh, we could queue for another house now, but I think we're housed out now. It's, it's a lot to do in the night, isn't it? But uh, maybe do a quick ride on Rocket if, it, if it's quiet. If not, we're probably just gonna trundle out. It's been a fantastic night. It's still, to us, very much worth the money, very much, to just enjoy the night, not stand in queues, uh, get the whole backstory. As I said, it, it makes the houses so much more interesting. Yeah. They already are amazing and interesting, but with the backstory... Yeah, it makes it so much better. Yeah. So much better. Like the so much house, more immersive. He explained the Chucky house to us, the like Chucky house, that could be thinking. And he yeah, explained it, how um, Chucky house is created. And then they brought Chucky down to have a look at it. Chucky was like, nah, not having this. Killed the creator, the main creator, and then possessed the rest of the house. Yeah, so it was good. Really you get so much more of a story, yeah. Yeah, so we, we just, we were really excited about that house, maybe. Yeah. But actually, it was a good house. Well, I still enjoy that. 
So we'll wander through the scare zones, maybe get a few pictures along the way, and I maybe see, see about doing rocket. But we are basically heading for the exit. So some of the wait times have come down, 55 is not bad for Stranger Things, quarter past one in the morning though, it's still 55 minutes from now. You can see, look at this now, only 15 minutes for the Exorcist, that's really good. So a lot of the houses are really starting to drop now, this last hour, really important if you want to get some houses done with low wait times, if you can stay up this late and hang on, you can get a lot done. So the other one as we leave, Blood Moon, only 15 minutes as well, they really are dropping now, this last hour, everyone's just leaving aren't they? Yeah. Bit like all's absolutely knackered, so many people are tired, but if you could come in a little bit later, keep yourself fresh, get quite a bit done this last little hour. Okay, well, all home and absolutely knackered, it was a brilliant, brilliant night, made up, we managed to do the uh, RIP tour, definitely worth it, uh, best house. Uh, probably Last of Us and Yeti both on a par with each other. Yeah, but they're also really good in their own way. Where really. some yeah. are really good to look at visually, some are really scary. Just really good. The the houses this year have been really really top notch. As good as uh, the twenty nineteen year was really really good. This was right on a par with that. All the houses were very good. Even the Chucky one at the end was better That's than we fun. expected. Yeah. yeah, that was. Uh, scare zones could be better. We've had better years of scare zones, I think. Um, but yeah, the RIP tour, adding those little details in, even like that scare zone where they normally have all the pumpkins above, they changed it into bats this year. You see the little red bat eyes, and he said occasionally those little red bat eyes will go off and you'll hear the sound of the bat flying yeah. away. Just clever little stuff that you wouldn't realise goes on. Uh, but if you did enjoy the vlog, do please give a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the breakfast earlier and the little resort tour as well around Disney, um, do let us know if you've been to the Riviera Resort. And uh, make sure you subscribe, plenty coming up on the channel. Thank you very much for watching and uh, scare on. <laughs> Bye, Bye guys. Man.